This week on Archer's Choice. We're going to go bow fishing with, with Corey Brosman. Yeah. Yep, and Corey knows his stuff when it comes to bow fishing stingrays. Well, here comes the first one. Domed him. Hey, Ralph, to your right. Ralph, coming in. Coming in hot, buddy. Get ready, Vic. He's going to come right in front of you. Run him down whenever you're ready. Here, Ray, right here underneath you. Aim low, low. Good shot. He's a big bear. What do you say? You let the beam and fly. Wait, get him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Welcome to this week's show. And this week, well, guess what? Gra what? Gather the family. The family. The that's what I said. I know, I was helping you. So we're gonna go He's bow fishing. With, with Corey, Corey Brosman. Yeah. Yep, and Corey knows his stuff when it comes to bow fishing stingrays. Yeah, we're not rays, going for rays. carp. No, no not no. rough fish. No, we're not gonna go for the rough fish. We're actually gonna go for stingrays, which are actually really good eating. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. so. And we're he knows gonna... how to cook them. He's actually pretty knowledgeable when it comes to stingrays. And bow fishing him and cooking He them. does it every day. I know. It's like that's all he does. Yes, I think so. I think that's all he does. But anyways, we've got a great show, so don't go anywhere. Grab the family and let's go bow fishing. And if we're going out east, we probably got to say, yo, you know, I was sitting on the boat and uh, these yeah, rays no, were swimming. I don't, and I don't I, think you I have to say them. that, actually. No? No. Oh. no. Okay, I was just mm -hmm. trying to be more eastern. He's a lot of that Yeah, we came here to bow fish with Corey, and I'm gonna tell you what. We just went, we looked at the water. He said, if it's not brown, it's good. It's green. If it was brown water, that probably isn't good for the fish either, is it? Why do they always have to go stand outside in the rain? I mean, it's perfectly dry in here, and now, they're outside standing in the rain. There's food on the grill, there's food in the kitchen, and they're standing out in the rain. Don't worry, Vic. We don't want you to get wet or nothing. That's what I just said. I said, why are you guys standing outside? There's a roof over here. Why would you do that outside? <laughs> That's a bobber. I need those size bobbers for the fish I catch. Yeah. You know, I ain't telling no fish stories or nothing, but really. The fish I let go, most people like mount. I've, I've been I've been fishing for my whole life, 73 years, and uh, you know I I broke these waters. I did. I taught Corey everything he knows about bull fishing back in the 50s. He's grown up to be a a, a good man. Yeah. He's old, but he's doing it. Oh, hi, Corey. Vicky <laughs> said you can't swim. Oh wow. So we brought you this. I gotta tell you, man, I have a set. Oh, you brought some? Yeah, the, Vicky's Does it say Hoyt color. on it? Yeah, it says, it says <laughs> sink or swim, Hoyt. <laughs> get serious, swim. Yeah, get serious. <laughs> Drown. Oh Let me get back and make sure everything's good. Um, good. What we're doing here is we're putting on the AMS reel. And look at, I wore my bright blue shirt so I look like the ocean. So if any of these guys push me in, ha, the fish won't see me. And if they're looking up at us, they ain't gonna see me. They're gonna go, oh look, sky. A lot of people don't understand too is, is we actually have a separate boat for boat fishing. You so gotta now, rinse all your gear down. I mean, that salt water is corrosive and it, it will take its toll on any metal parts. We set up our bow fishing bows. Yep. We they're, had our They're hoist. lighter. You're going to be drawing that bow back and forth a whole bunch. And just well, for any bow fishing setup. Right. You know, you don't need the heavy poundage. And, and one of the, yeah. the other things it creates is that fiberglass yeah. arrow goes through, sticks down too deep, and then you're fighting trying to get it, out, get of it out of the muck. So you want a lighter bow. You want to be able to draw it back easier, and, you know, quicker, but more than anything, multiple times. Well, shoot light and knocks. That'd be sure. cooler for night, huh, guys? Well, the, the big thing for me, it helps me know where your arrow is when it gets out of the lights. Uh, yeah, and if we do get a butterfly it. ray, it's important because he may be stuck fast at the bottom. You can go ahead and put a backup shot or 
vice versa, right. and then I'm going to harpoon it twice. Because it's going to take three of us to, get him to bring him in the boat. I don't want to have to hook the crane up. I hope no, we do, because no, that's a real big one. Then we've got a big one. Yeah. If you saw the size of these producers, I think we got plenty of manpower on the boat. <laughs> Do it. Now you gotta to reel in, you gotta hold that pull that lever back. Probably have you walk about 50, 55 yards. Now this is 350 pound test. The only way it'll break is if we nick it on the side of the boat. We happen to shoot a butterfly ray tonight, and we're gonna try about 2 a.m. when that tide gets right, we're gonna go after one. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven. We ain't gonna lose your fish. Oh, but he's gonna be that work. This is a little different because what we're doing is we're getting ready to go, and the sun's going down. It's a nighttime, and we. I'm, I'm excited, man. It should be. Um, a good chance. Exciting. We can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Corey keeps talking it up, so we gotta, you know, keep him in his place. You think he's telling the truth? Yeah, I do. Think so? If not, we'll. We'll leave him out in the ocean. We can we can commandeer his boat. Yeah, we, we can be like body. pirates. Arr. Arr. RJ's into it. Arr. Yes. Spring down so the stingrays can't smell. Oh yeah, smell. so the stingrays can't smell you? <laughs> yeah. uh, not out smell. to Cabela's and bought some Hunter Specialty Setaway Max. <laughs> Actually I I need this is the sponsorship you all should get. Banana boat for down here when the sun's out. Good lord. <laughs> I thought you're not supposed to have a banana on the boat. Oh. Ah, man, Mal. Now you seriously, just... there's like five of those on my boat. <laughs> now <laughs> you just keep it. I'm serious, we're going to have to get them off. Yeah. I forgot about that. No bananas on the boat. No, no bananas on the boat. It's bad luck, just bad luck. You know, just like any bow fishing setup, and that's what you know Corey has is a phenomenal boat, all rigged up. You're at a higher platform. Um, you got your lights. You got everything that you need. But you notice it's not cluttered because a lot of times you're going to be in the front. You're going to pull that fish up, that ray up. So yeah. you really need you know to have that. And he, it's set up perfect. He sits up even higher, yeah, so he he's sits able way up high yeah. because that way he can actually control his boat from up top. And he could see the rays better than we can even up on the yeah. pontoon part where we're standing at. So you and could he can tell, point them out quicker. You could tell he, he, he's been around a while. This is usually very good on, on this specific tide for cow nose. When we do see one, we right at it, under it, above it. Well, if I know that kind of screws up the air once it goes into yep. the water. Yeah. You know how to throw a baseball. Without sights is very similar to that. So if you see a stingray, I want you to visualize like you would a catcher's mitt. Well, instinctive. I want, instinctive. I want you to just instinctively shoot. Now, most people that do bow hunt and jump on this boat, if the stingray was on the surface, they'd never miss. Because it's so much deeper, your mm -hmm. arrow is going to do some flexing and, and do some weird things. So you want to aim low. The reason we're up this high is to try to eliminate some of that angle on the on the arrow. So the one night we were boating and we were getting closer to those islands in that bay. Yep. Okay. And remember, and all of a sudden there was all those birds and they were coming at the bright remember lights. Remember that movie? Birds! 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 They have nightmares. What? <clears throat> birds. Hey, I think it's just part of it. It's pretty cool. And go! Oh! <laughs> Jesus! There's a bitch! There's a bitch! I want a golden bitch, man! <laughs> they were coming straight at the boat. I mean, like, they were, like, attacking us. Like, you, you'd you go ahead and they would just, like, fly at the lights. And they were, remember, one almost hit RJ. RJ had to, like, let one back hey, off the boat. I mean, they just kept they coming at us. Yes. They were flying at us. I mean, I was afraid they were going to get stuck in my hair. It would have been like, ah! We could have made, like, a new horror picture. We could have made a horror picture. Or, we, or it, it could have been loud. mine, 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 mine. We're going down, and, and you're seeing all these needlefish. All right. of a sudden, RJ's, like, got this brainstorm of an idea. He's going to catch one. With his hands. With his hands. And lo and behold, <laughs> he did it. Big galoop. Oh, 
one. Matter of fact, he caught a few. Big galoot. But it was fun, huh? RJ, look up here and smile at you when you're done. Why, why are you holding it so tight? Hello, everybody. Get one of Right on the surface, but uh, everything well, else will be on the bottom. Bow fishing well. for stingrays here with Corey Brasson. We'll see what happens. We're kind of excited. We're in extremely shallow water on his big pontoon boat, looking for some, some stingrays and filling our freezer. Now, typically, when I see them, I should be able to put the boat right on them, so you don't have to shoot real far. Right, right in front of you guys. Straight in front. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. There, there's one. Hang on, guys, to the right. Yeah. Okay, I feel better now. You can shoot him. You gonna pet him or you gonna yeah, shoot him? Whoa. I got him. Wait, wait, he's going in the back, bud. Of course I did. That's a monster. Come on. You gotta understand something. I'm gonna shoot. Iranian ray, and that's as large as they get. Is it really? No. Oh. <laughs> See him out there? He's, a, he's that big wake out there. I'm going to bring him into the lights. Out he's there looking at us. Nice southern. Shooting? Yeah, yeah. Over him. He's straight out in front of you guys. 12 o'clock. Uh, 10 yards. 8 yards. Straight in front of Ralph. Where? OK. Yeah! Woo. All right, Ralph. You're gonna have to kill him when you can. Miss, right front, right under the boat. Right in front of RJ. RJ, look left. Right in front of you, RJ. Draw back, he's right in front of you. Straight down, straight down. Right in front of Vicky. Hang on, I gotta throw it in reverse. Ha ha! Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, good news is you don't even have a He doesn't stinger. have a tail! You don't have a stinger. That's why I shot him. He didn't have a tail, so I couldn't get stung. Probably 40 pounds. Oh, well, you're out here for like 16 hours straight, huh? No yeah. food, no water. It's been it's been rough, huh, guys? Windy and yeah. just totally extreme conditions. But we didn't give up. Not at all, huh, Corey? I mean, it was tough. But... No, you guys yeah. stuck it out. I'm no, impressed. I mean, wow, 16 hours. Four foot waves. Four foot, yeah, chumming. It just calmed down. I don't know how many times he puked. Yeah. You all right now? I don't know. I don't know. It was rough. It was rough, huh? Man. You did. Yeah, we, we saved you with the, the gap, gap. The gap <laughs> the right on your thigh. But that's all right, because he's tough. Because you have to be this way to do a hunting show. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. I promise you one thing. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to kill a bunch of rays, dang it. Frost and Sabachi Grill's about to open. I'm gonna flip them right in your mouth when they get here. I need a little hat. We should make the onion volcano too. I'm using Italian lemon juice for Ralph. I've got the stingray and a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, lemon, and lemon pepper. And uh, I'm gonna just cook this on this grill. And then I'm going to shave the meat off, put it into an uh, aluminum foil tin, a little bit more butter, and uh, sweet baby rays, and make pulled pork. It's going to be phenomenal. Well, Ralph and Vicky truly are special to me. And I had to get him a special chair out, so I'm setting this up for Ralph and Vicky for a romantic evening while I do. <laughs> Welcome! Oh, look Welcome. at Ralph, you got a chair! <laughs> yeah, really cute. Welcome <laughs> to Frostman Sabachi Grill and Restaurant. Today, we have you the throne. <laughs> wow! And a step stool. 
<laughs> okay. Look at that. Up up there. Holy crap. <laughs> No, oh don't, touch me. don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. Don't touch me. I see all the cameras rolling, so this is going to be a good one. I've never seen a chair with one, two, three, four, five, six drink holders. This is what you must have to deal with hanging with Corey. Not one drink, but not two, not three. Oh, my butt vibrate. Oh, my phone. <laughs> Whoa, what did you put on this? But I want this chair. Well, you can take it back. You know what? You might be able to use it on the boat. Wow, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm in a, maybe like, like Happy's Airboat. You know, we're going to cut the cameras off here and enjoy a nice meal and good fellowship. And um, we're going to get after the sting rains tonight. Yeah, baby. Hey, listen, it's been an honor and a pleasure. Uh, and this won't be our last time. Man, I, I hope so. Like next year, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, good deal. Vicky? Vicky? I need another drink, Vic. Vic? I'm supposed to tell you what I look for when we go out on the water. So right now I'm looking, we can see down like two feet, so we got good visibility. Uh, revolves around the tide, so uh, the tide drops, things start changing. Dork. You're wow. such a dork. He smiles and snickers. You know, we made fun of it, but you know, uh, we were on the boat. Right. We had our life preservers right there. They, they for were us. on the boat for us. And right. you know, some people may think, you know, you should, well, I mean, we were in two foot of water. If we'd have gone overboard, we'd have been standing up on on the beach, and it wouldn't have gone even to our thighs. I mean, it was. I might shallow. have had a tippy toe. You, you might have, but nah. for the most part, he was okay. Yeah. Well, here comes the first one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Domed him! Hey, Ralph, to your right, Ralph, coming in. Coming in hot, buddy. Over top of him. Get ready, Vic, he's gonna come right in front of you. I'll run him down, hold on. <laughs> Reverse, guys, hang on. Pinch the end of it, then go right underneath it and slice it right off. All right, we got, we got a couple now. There's one closer, Vic. One right here. They'll turn and come by us. Hold on, I'm gonna throw it in reverse. Oh, she's in the wing. Reverse, guys. Oh, right under the boat. Ralph, going in the corner. Shoot him, RJ. Yes. Oh, good job, that was awesome. <laughs> Here, Ray, right here underneath you. See him down there? Aim low, low. Good shot. Out in front, 12 o'clock. Get ready, draw. You're gonna be right on top of him. He's right underneath you. Them all. A whole school of them coming, Vic. That a boy. There you go.
Boy, Corey, we can't thank you enough and everybody down, you know, out east for the, their hospitality. And we had a blast, huh? We really did. I mean, we had RJ out on the boat with all the time. You were all bow fishing as a family. And we, we just had a lot of fun. I didn't get motion sickness. No, well, it the was water so cool. was so low. Yeah, that very it, low. He, there's no, if he would have gotten motion sickness, it would have been bad. Like, if you fall in, <laughs> well, most people would probably be up to their, Ankles. you know, their, their knees. Me, it'd probably be over my head. No, it wouldn't. But anyways, hey, we want to thank everyone for this week's show. We will see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. We need to go back there again. I mean, Corey really knows his stuff. Oh, there. yeah, it was And fun. it was a blast. It was fun. It was RJ loved it out there. I think he, if it was up to Corey, he'd mm -hmm. be on the water every day.